Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Awam Kenneth. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. We are almost at a thousand subscribers. Today's video is all about how to buy stock, foreign stock from Nigeria. And the US stock market is the biggest stock market in the world, accounting for over 50% of global stock market value, the combined market capitalization of the New York Stock Exchange and the Nasdaq is currently at about $40 trillion. And for comparison, the Nigerian stock market has a total market capitalization of just under $38 billion. So basically the value the network value of Dangote. It doesn't matter what you're investing, be it stock, real estate, or any other financial instruments. The goal of investing is to generate extra income. But I might I have to say this with a bit of warning. Nowadays, especially in this day and age that we live in, investing has now become a trigger word in the sense that you can't open instagram or social media platforms without seeing these statistics or this fact that if you had invested 10 years ago in so so and so company that you'll be worth so so and so by this time to be honest yeah that's a fact if you have done that you would have gotten this money but also you have to remember that one you were probably a toddler two you didn't have that money three someone who started the business at that time also made much more money than that stock to be honest or did it safer and you have to remember that there's always an iota of risk here sometimes some people are just genuinely lucky and other times you have to do tons and tons of research and not just following what instagram says i mean people who do become successful in this asset class have read tons and tons of books research articles they know who the ceos of these companies are they know the board members um, of these companies they know the financial records of these companies they know the revenue ratio they know the cash flow they know the ratio of profit to expenses they know a lot about this company to be in order to make such um, decisions or take investment in these companies and i think that information has not really been drilled down when it comes to social media platforms and to be honest you mustn't invest in stock markets if you don't have the risk appetite for it and if you are 50 and above please don't do stock markets you are far better off with mutual funds and something we we way less riskier than the stock markets now today's video is all about this app called bamboo and bamboo is a nigerian app that you could use to buy foreign stock on the website they say you can buy hundreds of nigerian and u.s stock like you can buy and sell hundreds of nigerian and u.s stock but to be honest since downloading this app all that is available right now the app are just us stock and etfs equity traded funds or index on their platform for the nigerian stock they are saying coming soon on the app but on the website it doesn't say that and it just gives me like okay what is happening here i'm not sure guys this is risky the website itself doesn't really have that much information on it to be honest apart from a little blip that, that talks about security which says we keep your money safe obviously um protected by the nigerian and us sec accounts are held by a partner a firm duly registered by the nigerian securities and exchange commission and our us brokerage partners is a member of the united states SIPC, which ensures each user's account up to $500,000 and etc. And it just goes on to give a disclaimer about terms and privacy, contact information, and social media contact. For the app, you can get the app on Play Store, on Google, and on the Apple Play Store too, and just check it out. I have gone a step further to download this app and test it out um to be honest i funded the account myself and i haven't done any trade yet 
for a reason or two but nonetheless i'm going to tell you how this app works so the first thing you have to do is download the app you can get it on your play store like i said and just give them the necessary information that is required the only thing here that might be a little bit of okay is when they request for your bvn number and they also explain why they needed your bvn number and they also mentioned that they're not going to give anybody access to your bvn number and they're not going to do anything with it so that is the only thing that was like or could be like a no for a lot of people especially like the older generations when it comes to giving out bvn number they might not want to use this app to be honest because this is nigeria and our policies are just whack anyway after all that said and done i got into the app itself then the app is quite simple to understand but when it comes to buying and selling of the stocks or the shares itself it's a little bit confusing so now you have your home page now for here you could see my balance there which is 30 dollars that i topped up the account with but i'm not going to trade this money highest i would do is redraw it back to my account um i'll explain the reason later on so now you have future themes um, we have all stocks most popular stock um you have technology finance health uh, transportation food real entertainment manufacturing etfs you have future stock so this is said to be like um most popular stocks on the platform that people are buying or just stocks that they think you should be interested in right i'm not sure it's not clear um choice of the moon so this is the most popular stock of the moon right now then invest in nigerian stocks you can see coming soon and many others then recent news this just has a compilation of news around the world concerning certain companies and all that then you have your watch list i have two um bonds and um index i have two indexed on my watch list then this future is quite amazing to be honest because it just explains a lot and it's much more easier for people to understand and know what to do um just a quick stats guide um how to fund your bamboo wallet how do i buy stock how do i sell stock um you also have little tidbits on the stock market itself um how much should i invest in stock what is the stock exchange what are stock prices etc you also have your profile then you have a help button here and that's all about the app now if you want to buy a stock like for example let's say apple um you just click on apple or you can search you can search with it using the search bar at the home menu then you click the buy button here you can buy now you can buy when prices decrease you can buy when prices increase so by now you just have to go ahead and say okay i want to buy ten dollars worth of this right and it goes but the problem i have with the app is if you want to buy now let's say you want to buy when the prices decrease um what price do you would you wish to buy when it decreases? let's say we're expecting the apple to drop to 250. you go to next you cannot buy 0.2 of that you have to buy either one two three four five like who figures you can't buy you can't buy in decimal if that's my that's like my point let's see let's try something else so if you want to buy let's say 2.5 you can't do 2.5 you can only do 25 205 and all that now bamboo was founded by yamo omorabe who serves as the company's director for growth and Richmond Bassi, who also serves as CEO. Bassi describes Bamboo as being on a mission to even out the playing field for access to global investment opportunities for everyday Nigerians. He continues, we believe everyday Nigerians that want to grow their personal wealth long term and take part in the global markets should have an investment platform they can trust enough to do so which is great for people looking for this kind of 
avenue to invest and i think that this is a new field um um tech companies are branching into and we can't wait to see what they do with it right and yeah so yes guys that's all i have for you guys today see you in my next one